Hi you guys, it's Lindsay here and it is that time again. I know a lot of us are very, very excited, myself included. Um, that's because this is our mega huge biannual Style Maker Fabrics swatch video. Um, this is the fabric porn that ends all fabric porn videos, in my opinion. Um, as you can probably see, this is a very long video um, where we are gonna go through this entire stack of fabrics. Um, these are all the new ones that Michelle has brought in to her shop um, for the fall season, fall winter, I guess. Um, so, we are going to go through all of them. As I said, there will be style numbers on each one of them that I will show you like this. So you will just type this number in, sorry, that was upside down. You'll just type this number in at Michelle's site, Stylemaker Fabrics with an S.com. And so get a pen, get a piece of paper, um, get ready to get your notes app open, whatever you need to do to take some notes to write down the ones that you guys want. Um, these are available now, so you can go grab them. If you're not sure, you're on the fence about a couple of them, um, there is going to be a huge uh, blog tour. Um, I think there are like 12 or 15 of us who were all sent fabric of our choice to make the garment of our choice. And I'll indicate as we go through which ones are on the tour. So you can keep note of if you want to wait and see what that looks like on as a garment or on someone or whatever. Um, so, okay, enough rambling. Um, without further ado, let's get started. This is this very top one. I don't know, should I do it this way? This would probably be easier. This very top one is a reversible jersey knit. One side is red and one side is charcoal. Um, 11670 is its number. Um, it has a pretty significant amount of stretch that way and no stretch the other way. So it's just a two-way stretch. Um, it says jersey knit, but this feels a lot more like a ponty to me, or even like a double knit. I guess because the two jerseys are fused together somehow, um, it's pretty stable and structured. Um, so it could make like a really cute, um, dress or like a structured coat again or something like that cute next up is whoops next up is wo cross woven flannel shirting in red and black so you can see it's got red and black and i guess they're cross woven hence the name um but it's a flannel so it is super super soft i mean this feels really, really nice. It is number 11669. Um, this is the back side. There's no stretch in this whatsoever. I mean, it is, it is a woven flannel, but this would make, I mean, really cozy Carolyn pajamas or any other pajama pattern. Um, it would make a great flannel shirt, like the Archer button up. Um, and I just love how it's flannel, but not like the plaid, like flannel usually is. Um, it's got kind of an all over abstract kind of splotchy vibe to it. Very nice, very structured. Lovely, 11669. All right, next is Jersey Knit Stripe in burgundy and cream. So this is a Jersey Knit, obviously. Look at all that stretch. It's two, it, it's technically two way, but this is, has a lot more stretch than the cross grain does. Um, but all the stripes are equally spaced. Um, it's a really pretty cream, a beautiful burgundy. Um, 11624 is its number. Um, cute. Very cute. Jersey stripe knit. Yeah. I mean, it is a jersey, but it's not one of those super thin ones. This would make a really great t-shirt. Um, it would hold up to like longer sleeves. Um, it's a really nice jersey. Feels really good. Great little staple, I think, with these colors. All right, then we have a vine floral rayon crepe. 
So rayon crepe, we all know what to expect from that. Crepe has like a little bit of a texture to it a little bit. And then rayon is rayon, my dream fabric. Um, and it's got these really pretty flowers in cream and this like peachy pink color um, with a burgundy background. And these little lines are all black. And it looks like Made by Ray is gonna be featuring this on the tour. So if you're interested in this, be sure to check out her blog post um, about this fabric. But yeah, it's really nice. Drapey with a little bit of structure. Structure for a lightweight, you know what I mean? Like it's not as structured as like this double knit or this flannel, but you know, it is structured for a lightweight. So it would make a really great, I don't know, the obvious things, I guess, you know, a flowy dress um, or top or skirt. Um, it would look really nice, really great. And it is like a little bit see-through. I don't know, can you guys see my hand through it? Um, but more, yeah, maybe you would wanna line it. Yeah, when you line it, that red really pops. Okay, so that was 11607. 11607. All right, 11649 is this really beautiful medallion jacquard double knit. Um, it's black and red, and it has this, like, um, I don't know, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Very uniform design. It's got this, like, little viney shape with, like, a little florette in the middle. Um, kind of reminds me of like a gate <laughs> or something, but anyways, that's all black. And then the background is this really pretty red color. And this is what the opposite side looks like. If you wanted to do like, I don't know if you wanted to use both sides somehow, I think you could, this is pretty. 11649 medallion jacquard double knit in black and red. So for a double knit, it's pretty structured, not structured, but doesn't have a ton of stretch to it. I mean, it is structured too. Um, you can see kind of what the folds do there, but it doesn't have a ton of stretch to it. So I'm thinking like definitely um, would be a great like cardigan or coat. Um, the Saunio cardigan, that would be a great option out of this. And it's just a beautiful color. You could also do something a little bit more um, structured, the fact the pattern jacket being a little bit more structured and be great for the holidays, or even like a little sheath dress would be so cute out of this for Christmas. I think that would be really nice. So one one six four nine. All right, this one is quilted nylon coating. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so this comes in a couple of other colors teal and periwinkle and it's just got a very uniform quilted stitch i want to say these are maybe an inch apart um and it's got a pretty thin layer of batting in between and then the fabric on top is a is a nylon but it isn't like shiny at all like it's not going to make that quilted vest or coat that you know is super shiny i mean can y'all hear that it's definitely nylon, but it's not super shiny, which I kind of like. So, I mean, you know what to make with this. This is going to be a vest or a coat or a bomber jacket or something like that. Teal and peri. I wonder what that periwinkle looks like. That could be cute. But this is really nice, too. I love this color. It's my favorite color. So, of course, I love it. Um, this is 11726. Okay, so next up we have, where are we? Abstract scuba knit in berry and black. And I was very close to picking this one for myself. Um, I just love the colors. I mean, it has this, it has a red and a berry and a black and a white, and it's all done in this abstract kind of brush stroke vibe. Um, it is scuba knit, so the backside is white, um, but it has, you know, a little bit of stretch that way, and about the same, maybe a little bit less along the cross grain. 11672 is this one's number. Super pretty, it feels really soft. Um, it's a lighter weight scuba, you know, it definitely has some give to it. 
really, really pretty. I love this one so much. This still might end up in my stash somehow. All right, next is sweatshirt fleece. Um, this sweatshirt fleece is going to be on the tour. Um, by handmade by Laura Liz is going to be featuring this sweatshirt fleece. So you can see it's, you know, got almost like a, um, not PK, a little bit of a waffle. It's got a texture on the, on the right side. And then the back side is a super, super soft fleece. I mean, really, really soft. You just, I mean, I would love to have that against my body all day long. <laughs> um, it's 11644 is its number. And this is wine. And she didn't indicate that there are other colors, but maybe we'll get to them as we, yeah, there are other colors somewhere here in the stack. So keep that in mind as we continue along here. But, um, but yeah, super, super nice. It's got almost like a, a little bit of like a silky feel on the right side, but then the wrong side is just like super, super soft. Really nice. All right. Then we have a brushed sweater knit in wine. This is 11508. Look at the back side of this. The back side is almost just as cool as the right side where you see all those looped threads, black and white and like burgundy. And then the right side makes it look like all fuzzy. Brushed sweater knit is what this is called. That's really cool. So obviously it would make a great sweater. Um, it's really structured and it's got a little bit of stretch to it. And as you stretch it, obviously the weave of the sweater gets bigger. Um, hardly any stretch that way, but yeah, it looks really, I mean, it's very, very soft on the right side. And then the wrong side feels really nice too. It's actually kind of like the exact opposite of this, like where this feels super soft and then yeah, these kind of feel similar, but obviously this has way more texture to it. But I could totally see you using this as the right side. Yeah. So I don't know of any really great sweater patterns. I guess any like sweatshirt pattern you can use. Or again, another one of the, the Saunio cardigan or any cardigan coat type thing would be really nice. This, I bet this is super warm. How it's all like brushed like that. Cool, very cool, something different. 11508. Um, next we have a patchwork plaid twill shirting in autumn. And it looks like it has like a reddish side and then a teal green side with like a little bit of olive in it, some mustard. I mean, a lot of colors going on here. But um, it is a twill shirting, so twill is the, where you can see the diagonal, you can totally see that through here. Um, clearly no stretch. Um, that's what the backside looks like, 11651. Um, just really pretty autumn colors. So if you're looking to make, you know, a button up, this would be great for that. Um, this would also make really great pajamas. It feels really soft to me. Maybe because I've been touching these other fuzzy ones so much, but it feels really, really soft. And it actually has a little bit of fuzz on it if you look really closely. So that's really nice. I bet this is a super warm Archer button up if you made one out of that. But I could also see it as like a mini skirt. Wouldn't that be super cute? I mean, I know it's a little bit like the movie Clueless, but I don't know. It'd be cute as a skirt, I think. Little schoolgirl, maybe. Cute though. 11651. All right, next, look at this one. This is a boucle sweater knit in solid teal. So we all know what boucle is. Boucle is the same stuff that um, Chanel jackets are made from, but this is a sweater knit boucle. Um, so you've got that going for you, but it's very like, it's like swirly, swirly loops, um, but very, you know, I mean, it's pretty thick. If you get these things turned up, it's it stands up on itself kind of a lot. Um, but it's very, very soft. Um, it's got not that much stretch. Not that much stretch at all, but it's definitely a sweater knit. Here's the back side. It feels nice, a little slubbed on the back side. 11635, the color is really pretty. 
I mean, I don't know if we've gone through anything that it would go with, but it's a really, really pretty color. But, um, but yeah, it's interesting how the threads are like looped in a swirl like that. Super cool. Boucle sweater knit. Yeah, the texture is really interesting. Nice. Okay, then we have rayon twill bottom weight in the color jade. So rayon twill, I mean, I just love rayon twill. You guys, if you are making things out of chambray over the summer, this is your substitute for fall and winter. I mean, any of those same things, same garments that you're using to make chambray, make this and you will be just as pleased. I mean, it has great drape to it. It has, it's almost reminding me of, um, oh gosh, now I can't remember. I'm looking at it in my stash right now and I can't remember what it's called. Oh, darn. Um, but anyways, it is a twill, but it is lightweight and super, super soft, like tinsel or tinsel, however you guys say it. Um, this is really nice. This is going to end up in my stash for sure. This is so pretty and so nice. Again, literally any shift dress, any fit and flare dress, any top, anything that you're making out of chambray or tinsel, this, this will be your fall color for it. Um, the number is 11591. 11591. And I'm going to put this in a separate pile because that is going to be my purchase pile over there. Okay, this is really pretty. Vintage Rose rayon crepe and navy teal i mean come on the background is navy which dark backgrounds like black backgrounds and navy backgrounds are really in this season with florals um that's like a trend that has kind of popped up and it's super easy to apply to your own you know garment making but the flowers are various sizes there's gray and cream and brown and then there's like a almost like a denim blue and then teal and then like a green color but like, look, doesn't that look nice? We made a skirt out of this and like an Ogden cami out of this and then maybe a cardigan out of that. That's a cute little outfit, don't y'all think? Oh, I don't know. That could be really cool. That would be a fun, fun little outfit. Um, this is number 11574. And again, it's a rayon crepe, so it's got that texture to it. It is a little bit sheer, um, but it's got the lightweight, really nice soft hand to it, just like rayon that we all know and love. So there's that one. All right, next up is large watercolor floral sweater knit. Super, super soft. Different colors for fall. Oh, look at all that stretch, wow. I mean, it's kind of, well, no, it's a sweater knit, but, um, it's interesting colors. As I was saying, this is like a black, I think, or maybe really dark Navy, but then it's got this purple and this lime green as a sweater knit. And it's a lighter weight sweater knit. Like, um, what was that other one that was back in here that was sweater knit? Darn. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, it was the striped one. Yeah. This one. So this is a, oh, this is jersey knit and this is sweater knit. Okay, that's the difference. Never mind. Put that back. Um, yeah, so really nice, really, really, really soft and really lightweight. Really, really lightweight. Um, this one is 11655. Fun. Okay, this one's really cute. This is Daisy Vine Rayon Crepe in Navy. So again, the dark background, and then it's got this little teeny tiny print, um, a tiny scale print with pink flowers and like maybe periwinkle or blue flowers and green and lime leaves. Um, again, rayon crepe, so the same as this was. Um, this is even got even more drape than this one does. This one is a little bit more structured than this one. This one's a little bit softer. This one's a little bit smoother. So there are some differences. This almost feels like washed and worn. You know what I mean? Like vintagey vibe to it. But super cute with the little 
the little scale print that would make an adorable skirt that you could wear with like brown boots or something um like maybe like a trumpet skirt or even just a gathered skirt i think this would be really cute um it is one one six seven three one one six seven three i just love the navy background too and does this go with that? I mean, kinda. I think this color and any navy background is gonna look good, no matter what the colors of the print are. You know what I mean? This is just gonna be, this is gonna be awesome. I'm almost hesitant to say how much I like it because I don't want it to <laughs> sell out. Um, but anyways, okay, so 11673. All right, next is Abstract Scuba Knit in blue and black. So the last Abstract Scuba Knit we saw was this berry black one, berry and black one. So you can see the two of them side by side there. Really, really pretty. Same same fabric, just a different colorway. Um, this one is 11619. Cool, I love both of them. I love both of them a lot. This one is berry and black, and this one is blue and black. Really, really nice. These are great. There's gonna be some really pretty things made out of these knit ponty knit skirts i mean it's scuba knit but um like pencil skirts any fitted dress a fit and flare dress would be really nice with a big circle skirt can you imagine how this would drape into a circle skirt so pretty so pretty i love those Okay, then we have um, this denim, rose printed denim. This will be on the tour. Again, handmade by Laura Liz is going to make an outfit with this, as well as that wine colored sweatshirt fleece. I wonder what she's making, even I don't know. But she's paired these two things together. Hmm, Laura, what are you making? Um, anyways, it's a really cool printed denim. Um, the denim does have some stretch to it. Just one way stretch um, and the flowers are like gray and cream it would be obviously a great jean jacket a great jean skirt jeans shorts a dress <laughs> I mean you could do so much with this it's denim with a really pretty floral print to it so one one five nine two one one five nine two on this Next up is the, this is another nylon coating, quilted nylon coating in blue slash back black. Oh, it's two-sided. So see how this one is like shiny and this one is more matte? I don't know if y'all can tell if the light is bouncing off of them enough, but this is more like what you would expect to see in the stores or what I feel like I've seen in the stores. And this is not, this is more matted, um, but this is still really nice, and I do like the diamond quilting more so than this. I mean, you could achieve that with this by just, you know, doing, but then you'd be off grain, which I'm not sure that matters because this isn't really super stretchy on the bias, so you probably could get away with it. Uh-oh, the numbers are falling off. Um, anyway, so there's the navy side, and then here's the black side. And the black side has like a little bit of a cross hatch look to it, whereas the navy is completely smooth. So I don't know how creative you can get to use both sides, or if you just want to pick one and go with it. But black and blue, there, obviously matching thread. 11675 on this one. Then we have 11663, right? Which is a Terry Velour sweater knit. So it's French Terry and Velour. Wow, that is cool. Okay, so we all remember Juicy Couture jumpsuits or sweatsuits, whatever you wanna call them, that were all Velour. Velour is kind of like a stretchy velvet-ish kind of thing. Um, and this is the velour woven into a French terry, which is just awesome. I mean, that feels really nice. <laughs> I mean, it feels really soft and really nice. The navy color is really great. I feel like it has a little bit of gray in it too. Um, 11663, here's the stretch. It is a little bit on the lighter weight side, which for those of us in 
you know, warmer, we have warmer falls and winters, this could be really great. Um, yeah, super cute sweatshirt or, I mean, even like a sweatshirt cardigan or coat or something would be really cool. Pants, joggers, Hudson pants, anything like that. Hoodie. I mean, it's just really soft and really kind of drapey. It's nice. Really nice. 11663. Okay, next up is sweatshirt fleece blue. So this goes with the same thing as sweatshirt fleece wine. Um, but whereas this has like a silkier feel to it, this one doesn't. These are, these are different, I think. So this is sweatshirt fleece blue, 11674. And it's more like what you would expect from a sweatshirt fleece. It does have that kind of um, distressed look where it has the blue mixed in with the gray. Um, and the blue is not like a true navy. Like this reads navy to me. This reads like denim kind of like a lighter wash denim not your dark dark denim but your light wash denim um but yeah it is i guess softer instead of this which is smoother if that makes any sense to you guys this has like a brushed quality on the top where this has like a a really smooth quality on the top um but the back side is like you can see all the gray fuzz <laughs> that makes up the back side of this sweatshirt fleece 11674. Very little stretch. Oh, there's actually a bunch of stretch that way. Sorry, I'm getting my, I don't have the salvages and all of that marked, so I don't know which is which, but yeah. Really cool. Really nice. Super, super soft. Kind of thick, you know, like it's going to be warm. It's going to be a warm sweatshirt fleece, this one. All right, this is a wool blend striped sweater knit in navy and charcoal. I mean, come on. It doesn't get more southern looking and nautical and like preppy than this. This is a nice sweater knit. It is a little bit, hmm, it's not scratchy, but it's not super soft, I'll say. This side is much softer. But, um, but yeah, you can see the stripes are the same size. Maybe like two inches or so. Um, but yeah, it's got some stretch to it. I'm sure I'm stretching these out as I'm doing this, but not a lot that way. So again, super cool sweater, obviously, but it would also make a great, like a cardigan or something like that. I love the gray and the blue together. That's really nice. One, one, six, four, six on this. I like the backside too, but the backside's softer. So I'd want that against my skin more so than this. The backside just has like more texture to it than the front side does. Very nice. Okay, this one's fun. This is a Nordic stripe cotton sweater knit in blue and black. How great of a sweater would that be? Or a cardigan, or a coat, or anything like that. Um, you could also make, you know, these sweater knits, you could make a sweater knit dress. I've seen them before. Um, this one's a little bit on the thicker side, so you'd wanna keep your seam lines pretty minimal. Um, like I wouldn't do a pleat or anything like that. That just, I think would look a little funny. But, um, or gathers, like gathers would be weird. You'd have to do really, really big ones. Um, but like a sheath or a circle skirt or an A-line or something like that, I mean, you could make you could make a sweater dress out of this for sure. But it's definitely got a, you know, horizontal stripe action going here. So keep that in mind. The colors are, again, this blue is like a lighter, like a, you know, more true blue than a navy. And then black and cream. And maybe a little bit of beige in there too, yeah. That's the back side. 11643 is what we're looking at on this one. It's called Nordic Stripe Cotton Sweater Knit. It is really soft. I mean, it feels like something you would, like you would knit and you would have this, you know? Nice, thicker, really warm. Oh, a turtleneck. Oh, I just want this in a turtleneck now. 
Oh, you know how cozy turtlenecks are by the fire at a ski lodge. Are you guys with me? <laughs> That's where I'm going with this. Love it. Love it. That's really cute. All right. Here is, I think, the companion to that wine one that we saw. Where was it? Um, it's called Brushed Sweater Knit Blues. Um, and we had a wine colored one, but now I can't find it. Is it this? Nope. You remember the brushed one? I know we just saw it. I just can't find it in my stack here. Here she is. So here's the companion to this. You have your blue version and you have your wine slash burgundy version. Um, same fabric, different colorway. I was going to try and pull the other, the abstract knit or abstract scuba knit that we went over a minute ago. The had a blue and a red. Here we go. So you can see maybe like dresses out of these and then a little cardigan to cover up with those. That could be fun. I think this is sideways or this is sideways, something. Um, anyways, 11509. Here's the back side. Again, super cool. Here's the back side on this one. I mean, the back sides totally match if you wanted to use the wrong side. But yeah, the front would be really fun too. Super cool. Okay, next up is a brushed wool herringbone suiting and straight stitch, that's hard to say, straight stitch designs is gonna be featuring this on the tour. And this is a really nice brushed wool. I mean, you can really see the herringbone design there, 11597. Um, and then this side is super soft and brushed. I mean, this would make a great like coat, like a like outerwear, <laughs> like a legit coat, um, or even like a really warm, like fitted dress, fitted skirt. I'm sure it presses like a dream. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Um, it's got like, it's structured, it's not drapey, but it's got a really soft hand to it. Like it folds really easily and it's not stiff or crunchy or any of that. It's like super, super soft. This is really nice. I'm excited to see what she makes. Straight stitch designs. 11597, brushed wool herringbone suiting. Really, really nice. This would be like Ann Taylor quality. I mean, I'm sure it's better than that, but that, the, the, this is what I would see in an Ann Taylor or like the limited, whenever the limited was cool. Um, so yeah, really nice. Oh, look at this one. This is text or layered texture star novelty knit in cream and black. Wow. Now this one's got some layers. Okay. So we've got this like blue netting. And then under that is this almost just like what your thread looks like when it just falls on the floor. <laughs> it's just like, just like a layer of bundled up thread. And then under that is another layer of netting that's striped. And then on this one, you have this like almost like a Jersey knit star attached somehow. I'm not exactly sure how, but it's like all fused together to create this like stripey starry, fishnet looking thing. And I don't know that I'm creative enough to think of what this could be. I guess it would be a top, a loose fitting top, but it's completely see-through. Hmm. This might be out too far outside of my comfort zone to really speak about. What are y'all getting from this? Are y'all feeling any certain way? Any certain way at all? Maybe like... Yeah, I don't know. Part of a skirt? Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, this is 11610. Okay, the next one is Crackle Double Knit in Cream and Black. This is really cool. This is really, this would be great in Butterick 6492, that Catherine Tilton pattern with the asymmetrical hem and the really big pockets. This would make a great version of that. Um, 
Yeah, this would be wonderful. Okay, so this has like almost like a, uh, I don't know, it's like a raised texture, like equally spaced. And then it also has the, the grooves of the crackle knit. So the beige part has like almost like a, a ribbing kind of, but not, I don't want to say that because that's not really what it is. It's just like raised bumps. Um, it's got, you know, not a ton of stretch as double knits tend to be. Um, but it is stretchy and it is softish. Um, here's the back side, which looks kind of like a computer or something. 11656 on this crackle double knit. This is really nice. I'll throw a link for Butterick 6492 in the description box. Um, I think those would pair up really, really well together. Or any kind of structured top, you know what I mean? Or structured bottom. Um, yeah, it would make a really great, um, like cardigan too because i mean it's it's pretty structured yeah i mean it's not wanting to fold on each on itself at all cool this one's really nice i might put this one to the side for myself too why not okay next this one's fun it's agate is that how y'all say it a g a t e i know it's not a gate right? It's that stone looking thing. It almost looks like marble kind of. Um, but it's in a scuba knit. I love the neutral and we've got one coming up. That's going to be a great go to with it. Um, so scuba knit, just like the others were just like these guys, just like the red one and the blue one. All these feel the same to me, same weight, Same everything. And to go with it, might I recommend the Wool Blend Striped Sweater Knit in Cream and Taupe. How perfect is that, right? This is the companion to the navy and gray one. Ah. So, oh, and I'm losing my sticker again. Okay, so these are the same. These two guys are the same. Do y'all want to see what that little pile's not so neat of a pile anymore. I just had them. Oh, here they are. Do you want to see what this looks like with that? Yeah, I'm not so much in love with that. If this were cream, I would be all about it, but I think this one goes better. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Okay. Anyways, so these two, I think would make a great little set either like I can imagine this in like a pencil skirt style and then like an oversized crop sweater. That would be adorable. The briar tee sweater um, would be really cute. And this as a, as a pencil skirt would be adorable. I love that. Um, this one is 11648. And again, it's the wool blend stripe sweater knit in cream and taupe. Same exact one as the navy. Great. Oh, that sticker is not going to stay. Um, love those. Next up, we have a wool blend textured sweater knit in solid taupe. Um, so this one is much more textured, like a lot. It's still soft though. It's still really soft. Oh yeah. Super soft. You can get an idea of the colors that are included on the back here. I mean, they're all definitely in the neutral family. Um, Maybe y'all like, might like that together more than this. If you want more of a solid, but this is really, it's like oatmeal. It ends up looking like an oatmeal-y color after all that is weaved together. One, one, six, five, seven on this. Pretty thick, pretty stretchy, you know, considering. Um, but yeah, it's really soft and this is probably like incredibly warm but yeah i can see this as a crop sweater too or of course a cardigan or whatever nice all right moving on we have sweatshirt fleece in heather olive so this one is more like the blue one more like this one these two are a lot of like whereas this one d doesn't really go yeah these are more that vintage brushed feel on the right side that you might be used to. And the colors are, are olive green, but then the, the variegated color in between is like a lighter olive green. 
It's not cream or black or gray or anything. It's like a lighter green. You can see it here. So that's what's woven in. But yeah, these are all nice. I really like these. This color is 11645. The olive is really, really pretty. Next up, more olive. This is a rayon twill bottom weight olive. And isn't this the same as my teal? Which was 11591. One. Yeah, rayon twill bottom weight. Okay, so oh, so there's an olive now, and everyone loves an olive. Um, so there you go. You have the two again. This, these are awesome. These are super nice, super nice. There will be several shirt dresses. You know, oh gosh, I mean anything. Again, if you're using chambray in the summer, this is your winter version of that, hands down. Lovely, lovely drape. Great soft hand. Okay, really nice. Love these. These are both going to the side for me. <laughs> okay, this one's neat. This is a, where am I? Laser cut double border stretch faux suede. Wow. Okay, so I assume that it's like this and then there's a whole bunch of fabric and then this is also on the other side. And it's got this great scallop detail and even this little itty bitty laser cut detail so i mean initially i'm thinking a skirt you know where this is the part that covers your <laughs> the top half of your uh, the top half of your bottom half you know your private parts and then this is like mid thigh down would be super super great um here's my iphone for so you can see how long it is i don't have a ruler nearby that's foolish so maybe like seven eight inches something like that um, but yeah, it's a great taupe color. I love the color a lot. This side is really soft against your skin. Really nice. How cool would it be uh, for a sleeve to have this where this is your wrist and this goes up to like your elbow, kind of like that. That could be super cool. There's a lot of fun things you guys can do with border knits. This has a double border knit. So in some ways, depending on how much of the border you want to use, it can be harder to cut your fabric that way. Like you're not gonna be able to get a shift dress cut unless you want, you know, this to be your neckline and then it to come down like, you know, into your chest area and then this be your midsection and then the other side of it be, you know, the, I don't know, you'd have to like lay it out. So be sure to buy extra fabric um, for you to play around with the layout of this. But this could be some really cool, interesting garments. Um, it actually has a lot of stretch in it, like a lot, but you're going to want to cut it so that this is your hem. So the stretch really, this is the stretch that really matters. There's a ton this way, but it almost doesn't matter because who's going to cut it like this? No one. Okay. So this is what matters, which is not a lot. Okay. So this is number 11596. 11596. Laser cut, double border, stretch, faux suede. Really nice. Okay, now we have a plush boucle sweater knit in cream and black. And then we also have one in <laughs> black and cream. So cream and black. Oh, I forgot too. Sorry, can I go back real quick? The scuba knit, the ag agate, a gate, a gate, this chalk and notch is going to be using this on the tour. So check out her post if you want to see this in action. Um, the sweatshirt fleece in olive, this, this one is going to be on threadbare garments. She's using this. Um, and then there's also a note here about the bottom weight, olive and teal. She says this comes in a lot of colors. So I will look into that and maybe do a post on Instagram and Facebook about them because um, these are really awesome. So far, these are my hands down favorites. Um, okay, so then there's like a lot of notes here. So the boucle sweater knit. Oh, okay. So there's boucle sweater knit in cream, cream and black, and black and cream. That's what we've got going on here. 
Okay, so this one, Boucle sweater in cream, Goodbye Valentino, my South Carolina girl. Um, she's up in Greenville, I think Greenville Spartanburg area. She's gonna be using this cream one. And then So Marie Floor is gonna be using the cream and black one. That one's really cool. And then this is black and cream and no one's using this one. So these are the same, but I feel like these two are a lot alike and this is in its own world. So let's start with this one. So this has, you know, really deep, you know, loops on the lighter cream and then the mid-tone cream is smaller and then like this little black line like going through all of them. Really, really cool. 11636. This is super nice. I'm interested to see what Goodbye Valentino makes from this. She makes such like chic clothes. So it'll be really interesting to see what she turns this into. So this is plush boucle sweater knit in cream. Plush, I'm sure, because of this little thicker loop. But it's nice. It feels so soft. Really, really soft. Um, okay, so then here we are with the, <laughs> what is it? Cream and black and black and cream. That's not confusing. Okay, so cream and black is this guy. You can see kind of a taupey cream, 11534. And then black and cream is 11634. 534634. And you can see them here. Um, they are not as soft as the plush one, but still nice the underside either. Yeah. This one has a bit of a roughness to it. This one feels a little bit better, but they are kind of like slubby on the wrong side. Like there's some texture on both sides. All right. So those are those. And then this is open knit sweater knit gray speckle. Oh, do y'all want to see how these like stretch? So there's really not much stretch at all on that one. The cream one has none I mean this is not stretching at all so keep that in mind these have a little and then this one has a lot more whoa a lot more so you can see this is like a true don't, don't do that to your sweaters okay <laughs> just take my word for it it's all like misshapen now um but it's got black and gray and then the speckle refers to like this little orange and this little light cream color it's got little speckles in there but it's mostly black and gray and this little bit of speckle in there so she's calling it open knit sweater knit gray speckle maybe this is like a i know that's black that's not even dark gray it's black black and dark gray but you can see kind of the knitting that's going on there and how that looks. But yeah, pretty soft, you know, for a sweater knit. It's a little bit itchy, but not, but not terrible at all. I mean, that would feel really good, I think. And very warm and toasty, yay. All right, next up is cotton sweatshirt fleece in black. Is that the difference? Those other ones were just regular sweatshirt fleece and this one and this one are cotton because this feels a little bit like this. Uh, maybe that is what is going on. I can't tell. No, this just says sweatshirt fleece in wine. Okay. Anyways, cotton sweatshirt fleece in black. Pretty straightforward stuff here. You've got your sweatshirt fleece with hardly any stretch. Fleecy on the black, on the back, black is what it is. Uh, 11487. I will say these are all really nice though. Like if you're looking to make a sweatshirt, yeah, these are good quality. Good quality. This one's a little bit, yeah, these are all kind of different. Like these three aren't, none of them are the same. Only this and that blue one were the same. The olive and the blue were the same. But this feels like a, I don't know, like a tighter, a tighter fleece. Like not as I don't know. Maybe they're the same. They all feel good. Whatever it is, they all feel great. Here is a brushed heather sweater knit in charcoal. So it's a really lightweight sweater knit. This would be so nice as a sweater or like a turtleneck again. That would make a great turtleneck. Um, I love the brushed quality of it a lot. 
a lot, a lot. Where is that blue and gray stripe? Maybe that would look cute together. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe throw this guy in. Eh, I don't know, too much. Um, anyways, so yeah, cute. Hmm, I don't know, I'm just like shopping now. <laughs> anyways, y'all get the idea. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. I like this a lot. This would make a great little lightweight sweater slash turtleneck slash t-shirt. Sweater knit t-shirt. Really good. This one is 11638 brushed heather sweater knit charcoal. And then you have your sweatshirt fleece in charcoal. Um, sweatshirt fleece heather charcoal 11664. 11664. This is similar to. Nope, not that one. That was 663. Now there, I got my pile all mixed up. Here we go. I think this one is similar to the to the olive. Yeah, that those are the same to me. And Heather, and then this. Okay. Ooh, this one's really cute. Okay. Um. Oh, the gray knit sparkle one. Chalk and Notch is going to be using this. So check out her blog post. Okay, this one, back to the really cool polka dot cotton French terry gray. I'm sure this one is gonna sell out fast. Um, anytime she does a printed French terry, it always seems to do really well. And this time, bonus, she found the, match, the matching background. So you could make a sweater and then do the cuffs and the collar band, you know, the, um, yeah, the band at the collar in this and have like a really great, cute, well-finished um, look. A lot of the ready-to-wear stores have their fabrics manufactured where they can match them like this. And it's harder for us because, you know, the stores, the retailers that sell fabric by the yard don't always get both. But she got both. So these are, ready? 11639 is the dot and 11637 is the solid. Both would look great on their own. This would make a great sweater by itself. This would make a great sweater by itself. Um, but if you're doing like the cuffs and the, the collar band to make it like more like a sweater or a sweatshirt, um, you should get them both. They're like an exact match. So keep those in mind. I don't have to go into too much detail about these because I'm sure they're gonna sell really well on their own. They're adorable. This dot is super cute. Very J Crew. I mean, I can see you making a sweater and then getting a little bow shaped, sparkly Swarovski something or another brooch. And that would be adorable. I mean, really, really cute. I could see you just fitting right in in a sweater like this. So 11639 and 11637 on those French cherries. Super cool. Okay. Next is Autumn Floral Rayon Crepe in black. And remember I told you the black backgrounds are so on trend. Um, making like peasant looking dresses or tops or anything like that out of a dark background fabric is so on point. So she's got this one, um, which is 11653. Uh-oh, these got out of order. Hold on. Yep, okay. So 11653 is Romantic Rose Rayon Crepe. And then 11577 is Heathered, no, Autumn Floral Rayon Crepe in black. So this one actually has like, uh, maybe it was the cut that I got, but this one's like smooth. And this one has like a texture to it, like vertical, or I guess it would be, yeah, vertical, like, texture like it's almost like gauze a little bit but not but they're both like pretty see-through you know so you're gonna have to line them or something but this has more of the autumny colors with the great mustard and the mint and like the like red orange is so hot right now um great great colors and then this one has the rose and the periwinkle and the green so two rayon crepes 
We are, I've also seen, where's that vintage rose rayon crepe somewhere earlier? Is it this? 11607? Well, no, but this is a rayon, this is a vine floral rayon crepe, 11607. And then in here there was another florally one, this one, 11673. Rayon crepe, here's another one. But there was another rose one. I remember, oh, this one. So these are all rayon crepes. Cool, right? Again, this one's softer. This one's got a little bit of texture to it. And then these three feel like the exact same. Still, I think this one's my favorite. This is, might be making it into my pile the more I look at it. Cute. All rayon crepe. Nearing the end, folks. Um, all right. We've got boiled wool blend coating. So boiled wool is wool, obviously, and it's itchy, you know, it's not super, super soft. Um, you'd need a lining with it, I would recommend, but it'd make a great coat. It'd make a great coat again. It'd make a great, you know, um, I mean, it could be a sweater, but it's, it's pretty thick and structured and like hardly any drape at all. Um, and not very soft. So yeah, I would limit this to, to coats um, or even like a lined skirt, um, something like that. This is 11535. Next up, we have reversible distressed stripe ponted, I'm sure she means ponty, uh, ponty knit. So you've got this distressed stripe this way. And then on the black, you've got just solid black. So again, just like with the dotted um, French terry, you could do your sweater, out of, like the bodice of your sweater out of this, and then do your cuffs and your collar out of this, or any variation. I mean, you could do so much with this combo. Black and then this, like, what's she calling it? Distressed stripe. It's grungy, which is cool. But it's still ponty, um, so it's still got the softness, it's still got the drape um, with the structure. So yeah, this one's really good. I can see this one being made into lots of different things. Maybe like doing um, like a fit and flare dress, but do the bodice in this and then the skirt in this or vice versa. Um, color blocking, oh, color blocking. Any of those sheath dresses that came out um, this fall, Butterick McCall's, all those folks did color blocked. Um, tops or paper cut patterns the one that has like the little v in the bodice you could color block with that yeah okay this one has tons and tons of options 11631 great great little fabric all right next up we've got textured stripe rayon shirting pretty i think this is black if this is black yeah um and it's got this cool stripe where it's like one like it's different, you know, it's not even, it's not even, it's got one stripe and then a different kind of stripe and then back to the original. So that's cool. And it's rayon, which is lovely and nice. Um, so, you know, do what you can with the stripes, maybe keep it simple and just do like a Ogden cami or something out of this would be perfect as a layering piece for the fall. But hey, if you want to really go for it and do something more complicated, by all means. But these little stripes are teeny tiny. So just, just don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> okay, 11671. Lovely, soft, wonderful. So this is um, solid rayon where these are rayon crepe. So you can tell a difference in the way they feel. Um, certainly this doesn't have the texture um, that crepe does, but... It's really soft, maybe even softer than this, I would say. But this is drapier than this by a schmidge, by a schmidge. Maybe heavier, maybe that's what I'm feeling. Maybe the, he the weight of it is more. Anyways, that's those. Then we have plaid rayon shirting in black and cream. Um, rayon shirting, this is super soft, super soft. Where's this one? Um, yeah, it's almost got like a brushed quality to it. That's how soft it is. But again, you do you with the matching the plaids. Maybe you don't care about matching the stripes. When it comes to plaids, you only match one of them. Whatever the horizontal one is. I guess it would be this one. 
Um, but it is really soft, so it would make a super cute top or dress, just depending on how much time you want to put into matching all of that. Cute though. I could even see it as like a sleeveless sheath and then you get a cream top with sleeves to go underneath it and it can be like a layering piece. That could be really cute. All right, next up is this guy. This is herringbone double knit in black and tan. So it's our friend double knit. We all love it with a herringbone pattern. Soft, really soft, double knit. Yeah, super cute. This would make a great, any of the, the same as any of the other double knits that we've, that we've seen. Fit and flare dress, a sweater, um, any of those things. I think the little herringbone detail is quite nice. It's kind of subtle and it's not the same. Like look at this whole big section here is open. So it's kind of like mixed up a little, not so uniform. That's cool. Then we've got, oh, I'm on to the next page. Oh, have I been giving you all the numbers? Lord have mercy. 11650 on that one. 11904 is, or sorry, 964 is classic Ponty red knit. 11, is that right? 11964, yeah. So she's got a few colors of this. She's got like a wine color, like a pinky red color and a teal color and maybe a gray color. She's got a few. So Ponty, lovely Ponty in solids. So if you're looking for a solid, anything that makes Ponty great, these are your, these are your go-to. Just depends on what your pattern is. Um, this one actually, I have had Butterick 6495 um, on my mood board since it came out. And I think that this is going to end up being the view of the dress on there. Um, but it's kind of like a fitted sheath dress. Um, and it has a little cardigan that goes with it as well as a pair of pants. Um, this is Heathered Ponty Knit in Olive 11633. The backside is like a really dark olive. Um, so yeah, I think this one would be really great out of that. I just love the, like, it's not texture, but I like the, the look of it, how it's, you know, not uniform, one solid color like this one is. Um, it's got some, like, almost like a stripe in there, like a heathered quality. I love it. I love it. I think it would just make a great dress. I don't know about the olive though. I wonder if she has other colors. Anyways, that's that one. Great recovery, super soft, really structured. Good. This one is classic Ponty Knit Blue. We have classic Ponty Knit Plum. And then we, oh look, we have a chocolate heathered one, like the green one I just showed you. And then we have Ponty Knit in Slate a gray color and then classic Ponty Knit charcoal and Arietta Ponty Knit, which I've never heard of before. And I don't know if my mind is playing tricks on me or not, but this does feel really good. Like better than all these. These feel like spongier. I'll have to ask Michelle if she knows what, I mean, obviously she probably does, but ask her what the difference is. Huh? Anyway, so lots and lots of Ponty for your picking. She has coming. And again, this has several colors too. So I'll just make a photo collage maybe of all of these with their numbers so you can see them all. But that is the end. We have finished our journey together of the fall, winter, swatch video. I hope you took lots of notes. I will be purchasing some or both of these. Um, I can't wait to see what everybody ends up making on the tour. I got the Ponty Knit. I'm color blocking a dress. You will see it a week from Thursday, I think. I don't even remember my exact day, but next week um, it'll be up. Um, 
so you'll have to see what I make out of that but lots of other really really great stuff in here I mean really cute stuff let me know in the comments below what you want what's on your wish list um, let me know the ones that you wrote down or the ones that you're most excited about or you know if you have any ideas that I didn't think of um, leave those all in the comments below and enjoy the tour I will see you probably in about a week with my make and until next time bye